Okay, Blarg man, you finally got a video response out of me. It was the last statement that you said that finally pushed me over the edge. Um, I'll read it just in case nobody else is uh, looking at the 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 chain of comments that um, that Blargman and I exchanged on Rabbit Ape's video. This last statement boggles my mind. Um, I made a comment. It was a, obviously sarcasm about you know how apparently God made everything and including the laws of physics and that's why the sun burns and fossils are planted there by Satan, you know, silly stuff like that. So then he responded, wow, that sounded kind of silly. Even I'll admit that, but seriously, God made the laws of physics, fossils became petrified during the flood of Noah, and the sun wouldn't burn at all if there was a big bang. Gas never compresses like that on its own. Oh, and I'm no stranger to sarcasm. For those of you who don't know, that's a big vocab word you'll learn in English class. Why do you keep assuming that I'm stupid? Blargman, I don't think you're that stupid. But I think you're trusting the wrong people. The the um, the big question, like, what define the laws of physics in this universe? It is a big question, and nobody has a good answer yet. So, there's your God of the gaps. That's where he can fit right now. God made the laws of physics. Um, I'll give you that one because I don't have a good alternative at this point. I don't think anybody does. But uh, the more we learn about the universe, the uh, the smaller the, ro the possible role for God is left. But there is one statement that you made that is just physically incorrect. Uh, the sun wouldn't burn at all if there was a big bang gas never compresses like that on its own. That's incorrect. Uh, gravity is the force that creates the sun. All stars, and they all burn under the same principles. As soon as they have enough mass, um, fusion reaction occurs. They're powered by gravity. Their own mass causes them to burn. Grass never, gas never compresses like that on its own is incorrect. Gravity is existent throughout the whole universe. Anything that has mass has gravity. And things that have gravity attract each other, so they combine in clumps. Every single star in the night sky that you see is a gravity-powered fusion reactor, regardless of its size, regardless of its density. If it's burning in the night sky, if it's our own sun, which is uh, a star just like any other, it's actually a pretty common star, it's called a yellow dwarf. Not special in any way. Um, they're all gravity-powered fusion reactors. That's it. It's not that gas never compresses like that on its own. It does. We see it all the time. And gravity is the force of physics at work. Just the one. That's all you need. And the sun wouldn't burn at all if there was a big bang. Um, the existence of... Do you think... <laughs> the, the scientists team of scientists, astrophysicists, um, cosmologists, do you think that they would come up with a theory that would be totally shattered by the existence of the thing that's in the sky every day? That's asinine. Um, if you believe that, then you are reinforcing the supposition that you are in fact stupid. Because that's ridiculous. Um, whoever told you that is lying to your face. I mean, that's not just not a mistake. I mean, anybody with half a reasoning sense in their brain can see that that doesn't make any sense. The sun is, we see it every day. We know how it works. So why would, 
why would scientists who are supposed to know this stuff make up a theory that wouldn't hold true given something that we see every day? Well, I live in Michigan, so we don't see it every day, but, you know, maybe every other day. Clouds kind of get in the way. But, uh, why do you keep assuming that I'm stupid? Well, it's a hypothesis that I made as soon as you start spewing this creationist garbage. Like, fossils became petrified during the flood of Noah. And every response that you make in the comments is further confirming that initial hypothesis. Ugh, I need some coffee. Duh.